Hi and welcome to a new video. Have you purchased the new iPhone or iPad? Then you will need a personal Apple ID to gain access on several Apple services including iCloud. In this video, I'll show you how to create an Apple ID on your device. Let's go! An Apple ID is the personal account which you will use to access Apple services like App Store, iCloud, iCloud Photos, Messages and many more. With an Apple ID, you can sync or back up everything that is stored on your iCloud. But to ensure that everything syncs perfectly across any of your devices, make sure to use one Apple ID only. Every time you set up a new device, download apps or make a purchase, you will be asked to log in to your Apple ID. In other words, you cannot use any of the Apple products and services without an Apple ID. To create an Apple ID, open your Settings and tap on Sign in to your iPhone. If you already have an Apple ID, you can just type it in on the provided field. Otherwise, tap on Don't have an Apple ID or forgot it and select Create Apple ID from the pop-up menu to create a new account. Enter your first and last names as well as your birth date and then click Next in the top right corner. The next step is your email address. If you already have an account from other email providers like Gmail, Outlook, Yahoo, etc., you may also use it as your Apple ID. But I recommend that you just create a new email with iCloud's own domain name, which is iCloud.com. To get a new iCloud email address, tap on Do not have an email address and type in your desired username just before the at iCloud.com. Apple will validate your username to check if it's existing, so make sure to provide a unique email. Keep in mind that your iCloud email will not be editable after saving. Later on, you can also use this iCloud email in your iPhone's mail app. After that, you will need to provide a strong password which has at least 12 characters containing a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters as well as numbers. Otherwise, your password will not be accepted. Keep in mind that anyone who knows your password gets access to all of the files stored on your iPhone so make sure to keep your password private. To finish setting up your account, confirm your phone number and agree to the terms and conditions. Then provide your device's passcode when prompted. By default, two-factor authentication is automatically enabled for your device's better security. Now you're signed in to your new Apple ID. When you tap on iCloud, you will see the configuration for each iCloud services that you can enable and use. To start downloading apps from the App Store, you will need to sign in first using your new Apple ID. For first-time setup, you will be prompted to provide your billing information. To do that, tap on Review. Select your country of origin, then agree to the Terms and Conditions. Next, provide your credit or debit card details or PayPal account, but you can also select None if you don't plan to purchase anything from the App Store. Now you can finish setting up your billing information by providing your address as well as your phone number. After that, you will be asked for your password every time you install an app from the App Store. If you want to disable it, go to Settings and scroll down to Face ID and Passcode. Type in your password to unlock your phone and make sure that iTunes and App Store is activated. Since your Apple ID essentially contains all of your personal information including your contacts, files, images, etc., you have to keep your Apple ID secure. Fortunately, Apple provided two-factor authentication to protect your Apple ID from any unauthorized access. When enabled, it will provide an extra layer of security even if someone gains access to your password. To set up two-factor authentication, go to Settings, tap your name and select Password and Security. Make sure the two-factor authentication option is enabled. In my case, it is enabled already. Below, you can also set up or edit your phone number which will be used to verify your identity when signing in using the Send Verification codes. After enabling two-factor authentication, you will now be required to provide a six-digit verification code whenever you sign in to a new device. For example, like in my case here, I will be signing into iCloud for the first time on my Mac. 
Just as an additional information, you can access all your files stored in the cloud by logging into iCloud.com. A prompt will automatically display on your trusted device asking if you allow the sign-in attempt. If you tap Allow, a six-digit verification code will be provided. Once you sign into any device using the two-factor authentication, it will be labeled as your trusted device as well. This verification will only be done once for every new device. In some rare instances that you think your Apple ID has been compromised, you can visit the Apple support page to learn how to regain control of your account. Just click on the tag in the top right corner or check out the link in the description below. And that's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.